I said I'd be back, and I always keep my word. What else has a man got? There's no way I'm proud of turning into a bar fly, but at least I dug my way out. Really got my feet back on the ground. Truth be told, I still had some big dues to pay. No more cable TV, thank God, but I ended up having some rather special clients. Like the artistic cinematographer who wanted me to sweeten up some of his audio. I sent him this. And also this. He loved what I did. Said it made for a radical discontinuity between expectation and reality. Whatever, I said to myself, as long as I could pay the bills. My track record wasn't perfect. A Christian filmmaker who had done an epic of the Bible asked me to submit some demo music. Here's what I sent in. Wait, wait, please. I'll take care of it, Master. He turned me down, said that God and our Lord Jesus Christ wouldn't approve of it at all. Well, easy come, easy go, right? But then I managed to get into a whole new thing, in a whole new place. Las Vegas, for the enormous electronics convention, biggest anywhere. A network of developers wanted me to spice up the sound that videographers had recorded on the convention floor. And of course I needed to experience it on location, so off I went. I didn't spend too much time checking out the girls in the booths. And soon I found my future. Lisa Pope, singer-songwriter. Sitting all alone in a booth. So cute, so helpless, badly needing someone to kickstart her career. Her song, spinning the stuff of tangled weightless dreams in the quiet afternoon coffee bar, took me to a whole different place. So I gave her my business card, and promptly forgot about her for months. One day I was bored, scanning the entertainment listings for something to do, and I saw that familiar name, Lisa Pope. So I went to the club where she was appearing, and caught her act. Actually, can I get everyone finger clicking to keep me in time? Yeah. Brilliant stuff. I said hello, she remembered me and wanted to discuss her career further. Step into my office, I said, and the next morning she did. I changed her name to Corby Klimt, told her she'd go a lot further that way. I was really stoked to be branching out in a whole new direction. Within months, she had become a rising star. So what happened? Short answer is, she got too big. She told me I was her elementary school, but now she was in college. And then, just like that, she was gone. Well, I still had my old irons in the fire. I backtracked and did music for the guided tour of Liberace's mansion in Vegas. You start walking through it, and it's incredibly spacious. Not just the house itself, but every single room is spacious. How do you, I mean, I, <laughs> unbelievable that he was able to do that. I may be down, but I'm not out, because I believe in a bright new tomorrow. 